Hello gamers, it's Subkitty99 and today we're back at the House of Rituals to continue with Balmadar. Let's hope we can get Chapter 8 completed today. Explosive Schemes. The brokers deal in objects most exotic and profound. If Kel'Thuzad requires reagents from them, his ritual might be outside of the normal scope of the House of Rituals. Yeah, I think. He's got a guy from Bastion and he's got Adama from Revendreth. He's definitely outside of the normal uh, scheme of things here. This mysterious reagent could be the key to unlocking Kel'Thuzad's plans. We need to get a hold of this delivery from Oribos. I have taken the liberty of concocting an alchemical bomb Use it to ambush the caravan and retrieve whatever they are transporting. Quest objective. Use the alchemical explosive to ambush the broker caravan at the Scaplian Ridge. Now, if, you're, if we're going to be using one of your alchemical explosions, are you sure it won't blow up whatever the reagent is? Because we don't know if that reagent is something really unstable or not, so I don't want to go boom with it. This is an alliance of convenience. Yes, it's most certainly a, a uh, an alliance of convenience. You don't need to remind me because I don't think you're very convenient to start with. I think he'll double cross us the second um, he even sniffs a little whiff of something uh, out of the way. He's definitely hoping to promote himself here. But we are very well aware of that, and unfortunately he's the only inn we've got at the House of Rituals, so we have to go along with him, even if we completely don't trust him. But we'll definitely have a word in Dracker's ear that we certainly 100% don't trust the guy. Right, so it does look like it's inside this tunnel passageway, so... We have been past this place several times during this quest thing, haven't we? Oh, right, well that's nice. Oh, it looks a bit like an acorn, doesn't it? A very strange coloured acorn. Right, so we need to hide. Right over here, okay. Now, I can hide behind there, but my minion, look, he's just stood in the middle of the pathway where everybody can see him. Oi, minion, move! Silly boy. Oh, here they come. Minion! You're supposed to be hiding! <sighs> yeah, yeah, he's not helping me, is he? That's quite a lot of them um, accompanying it. Well, it certainly blew everything up. I'm not sure we're going to get anything out of that wreckage. Well done. Now we must work quickly before we are discovered. Well, my minion just stayed out in the open and nobody saw him, so they're a bit blind, I think. <laughs> no crate unturned. No crate unturned. That explosion will likely bring onlookers from the House of Rituals. We must act quickly. Well, if you hadn't made it quite so big, maybe they wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> Search through the debris for anything that looks out of the ordinary. It is likely that Kel'Thuzad's mysterious reagent won't be hard to spot, unless we blew it up. Quest objectives. Search the broker's crates for Kel'Thuzad's special reagent. Ooh, something survived. That's good news, because it was a little bit of a bigger explosion than maybe we were hoping for if we want to get the reagent in one piece. Blinding the brokers. We cannot allow Kel'Thuzad to discover who stopped his shipment. None must be left to tell the tale of what transpired here. Kill eight broker witnesses in the Scaplian Ridge. Yeah, we're doing the dirty work cover-up again, look. Oh yeah, look, loads of boxes survived. Wow, they got thrown a long way, didn't they? So I guess we have to kill everybody in the tunnel. Search the boxes and hope that we find something incriminating that gives us more information than we've currently got. So come my minions, time for some mayhem. There we go, we're at three already, that was quick, right. Do not sell the merchandise. Uh we just blew it up. I'm surprised anything survived. These guys are definitely not guards, because they don't fight at all well. He's supposed to be a guard. He went down very quickly. The tradesman, of course, was just trying to fight us with his fists because he's not a guard. The guard did have a sword, but he was very ineffective with it. See, there's another guard. 
I just stand there and wave the sword at us. That's an awful lot of tradesmen for one little caravan. You would have thought there'd have been a couple of tradesmen and then the rest would have been guards, wouldn't you? But then we were asked to kill eight of them, so I suppose there had to be too many in the tunnel, because if there's more than one person here, you need quite a good pool of mobs. So. I'm overthinking it again, aren't I? It's a game, it's not real. Right, well, we've already got our eight, and we haven't got anywhere near to the um, reagent yet. I suppose you could get lucky and just open one chest and find it, but... Not being lucky. We'll probably have to open every box in the tunnel before I find it. I wonder if it is random and you can get it on the first one or if you've got to open a certain number of boxes before you find it. Depends how they programmed it, didn't it? A lot of things are usually random, completely random. Ah, oh, there we are, we found it, I think. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, I thought that was it then. So what did we pick up? Oh, it's sorted curios. Oh, okay. It looked like an interesting little picture. I thought we might have got it then. We didn't. There's two boxes here. Let's hope maybe one of these will be the one we want. I, need to target something first. I don't, kind of don't want to attack the little tradesman. And it's just like, no, everything got blown up. Can I save anything? And they are trading bad items with bad guys, so... Nope, more curious. Yeah, they're kind of... And look, that, the picture there looked like we were going to get something really good, so I actually thought that was the cost item it was, it's just a sort of curio. Made me excited then, I thought we'd got the item. Yeah, so getting your eight bad guys is not, um, not the thing that's going to control it. There we go, we said we've got two items in the box, that's where we got the mysterious reagent got the curio and the item. So you always get a curio and then there's probably a set chance or a number of boxes you have to open before you get the actual quest item. So we'll go back and turn into Belmadar and hopefully he's got an idea of what's going on now because up to now we, we don't know the exact... I mean we know Kelsev's in going to be helping the jailer and he's a bad guy but exactly what he's got in mind here in Maldraxxus, that is the question. What do you have to offer? No crate unturned. The runes on this blade. They are a hallmark of domination magic. This is not good, Warlock. No, it isn't. I am done with you. For now. Blinding the brokers. The guards have been dealt with? Good. We have more pressing what matters now. Oh, we're now 74. Cool. Designed to fail. The pieces are all coming together. The Kyrian, the paths of the first ones, and runes of domination. Kelthazard is looking to breach the Moor. Oh no. We cannot allow this to happen. The Moor has been locked away from the Shadowlands for good reason. Opening that floodgate could be catastrophic. Well, yeah, he's on, obviously he's going to try and get the jailer out, which is definitely bad news for everybody. The Baron is too powerful to confront headlong, so we will stop his ritual instead. Return to him with his reagents. I have made some modifications that should prove a calamitous end to his scheme. Quest objective, bring the bundle of modified reagents to Kelthazard in the Vault of Souls. Right, so we're going to try and ruin the ritual for him so that at least puts him back hopefully Remember, this is an alliance of convenience yes yes we know it's an alliance of convenience you keep telling us that and we keep telling you it is because we don't trust you right so i think this is that group quest one isn't it you actually you do need multiple people to be able to actually pull that off so we can't do that now because there's just me here on my own you have to grab, gather a few friends uh, but the only thing you get for it is uh, something to do with your cultist um hidden appearances for you your cultist robes but yeah you need a group because you actually all have to stand 
on the little runes and click on it to activate it so you can't do this one on your own. So if we're going to do that we'll have to come back, you see. Right, so let's go and turn in this quest. And let's get to Kelthazard's Ritual Ruined. Right, it's this building here, isn't it? And then we turn to the left and he was in that end section. That's right, let's go turn in and ruin his ritual. You had better not be the wasting my time. Was completely ransacked. The escorting brokers were brutally slain. Do not waste my time speaking of lackeys. What of my reagent? It was nowhere to be found, Master. So they've already figured out about the uh, ambush caravan. Here we have a traitor in our midst. We must accelerate our plans. As you command, Master. It will be done at once. Designed to fail. My acolyte returns. What have you brought me? Got you those reagents you wanted. I see you managed to procure the reagents from Jordan and... Wait. What's this? I'm impressed that you managed to procure the shipment from the brokers when my sorcerers could not. You are quite the resourceful one, acolyte. Obey the will. Caught in the act. Well then, since it was you who managed to procure the missing reagent, I find it only fair that you assist me with the final ritual. I can guarantee that this incantation will see you promoted to a full sorcerer of the house. The preparations are already made. We can begin as soon as you are ready. Quest objective, assist Kelthazard in completing the ritual and hopefully destroying the ritual as well, as long as he um, isn't suspicious of us. Which I suppose getting that blade from the brokers after they've all been killed and his other sorcerers couldn't get it could actually be very suspicious. <sighs> Balmanar didn't think that through very well, did he? Having you engaged in the ritual was not intended to be part of the plan. But it seems we must improvise. Yeah, I think the whole plan's well, a bit I'm improvised. Quite certain the ritual will fail. There may be some collateral effects. Uh, you mean you're glad you're not here because I might be in trouble? Let us hope they are not entirely fatal. Oh, great! Thanks a lot. Hey, <sighs> these people claim to be our friends, and they always get us into these horrible little situations, don't they? Right. Let's light the burners. So far, so good. Place the heart. Icky, icky. Go, go. Anybody got a wet wipe? <laughs> what a waste of animals. Oops, so we've been spotted. Possible. Wait. What treachery is this? So you were behind this. And what have we here? Balmadar's Oculus. That Balmadar's got spotted God, too. Take this wretch to a cell. And bring me that traitorous lich as well. Well, we stopped the ritual, at least temporarily, I think. But it didn't go too well for either us or Balmadar. See, Balmadar was trying to be too clever and it didn't quite work. Balmadar's voice comes from the adjacent cell. That did not go as planned. You think? We need to find a way out of here. The Margrave must be warned. Improvised implements. There must be some way we can get ourselves out of these cells. I don't see anything I can use over here. Search your cell for anything that can facilitate our escape. Search yourself for something that can be used to escape. Okie dokie, I will have a look and see what we've got. We've got a, a torch. torch. 
While many a villain might disguise a hidden switch inside one, a jail cell is not a likely place for it. Yeah, but maybe people wouldn't look there, so maybe it could be. <laughs> Unless you wish to speak to someone more on your own intellectual level, a skull won't do us any good. Hey, I'm not that daft. You're the one who uh, overthought the plan and got us into trouble. I fear my magic is distinctly not of the chain-manipulating variety. See what else you can find. Um, I've got a hand. Oh, no, we're going to use a hand. <laughs> By the Primus, that's ingenious! Improvised implements. You are more resourceful than I thought, Warlock. Just a quick incantation, and we're on our way to freedom. Okay. <laughs> a helpful hand. It takes but a simple act of necromancy to animate a hand. Unfortunately, since you will be in closest proximity, you must be the one to command it. When you are ready, I will reanimate the hand. Once you have control, use it to pull the lever at the end of the hall. Couldn't be simpler, right? Quest objective. Navigate the reanimated hand to the end of the hall and activate the con corroded lever? Hmm, so we're going to play, um, what's the name, from uh, Adam Stanley? It's Thing, isn't it, the hand, the mobile hand? Thing, yes, so we're going to be Thing from the Adams Family. This is either going to be fun, or it's going to be really, really hard, so let's see which one of the two it is. Right, so we have to go to this marked spot, and now we can be the animated hand. The lever okay. is at the end of the hall. You may need to be a bit clever finding a path to reach it. Oh, great, because I'm tiny now, so I can't reach things. Okay, there are spiders in my way. Are they going to fight me and hurt me? Probably. Right, so there are chains. There are bookcases. We're going to have to parkour and walk ropes and things. No, we can't jump high enough to get on top of that, by the looks of it. Try so the lever's over there, so we're going to have to start over to here, aren't we? Lever. Right, so we start on the box and we can get on top of here and then we've got to walk the rope but there's a spider in my way. Is the spider going to knock... Whoa, spider nearly knocked me off. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 that is kind of difficult. Because you kind of got to jump over the... So the spider doesn't fight you but you've kind of got to jump over the spider so it doesn't knock you off. And when you jump, because the top end there is a lot narrower, it kind of gets a bit harder and then... Yeah, see tried to go around the spider and it just pushed me off the web effectively. So it looks like it shouldn't be too hard because you've got to go up the web here, jump across to the second web, go down to the bookcase, go across the chain onto the other bookcase and then you can go get... The oh wow that was much too far. Right so we do have to actually... Can there any way we can park up there? No there isn't. We really do have to go the whole way around. So. All of these things that looked like background decoration before are now part of this quest, so so we need to get past the spider without falling off. And then can we go... Ooh, oh, yeah, we've managed to get on the web. Right, oh, this is the furthest we've got so far. Oh, no, we're out on the edge. Don't fall off now. Don't fall off now, Kitty. Oh, no, we've got to go back again. Hmm, right, so the hand jumps, but it doesn't jump very far even if you're kind of pushing forward for movement it, it doesn't jump very far and I bet that's far too tall for us to get on here right so we know exactly where we need to go problem is I've never been very good at parkour and um, the hand is a little bit awkward to manipulate because it, it doesn't jump very high or very far see, ooh, see look well, I'm in the right spot but get, even getting on top of the bookcase is kind of a little bit difficult you, We've got to be back far enough to jump on, but if you go back too far, you just fall off everything. Now, I know people that probably would have done this the first time and said, what are you think worrying about? Why are you having trouble with it? It's so easy. Um, but, yeah, not, <laughs> not so easy for me. Right, let's, <laughs> don't fall off. <gasps> right, this is the furthest we've got. Can we get on the chain? Ooh, that's right now. 
Make sure you're lined up properly. Yeah, we don't want to fall off now because we've got a lot further than we've ever got before. Yeah, watching out for the spider moving. We need to make sure we're lined up in case we have to... Oh, oh, oh we didn't have to jump over him. Good, good, good. He went round us for a change. Oh, right, we're so close. Don't fall off now, kitty. Don't fall off now. Nice and steady. Get the lever. Yay! Did it. I never doubted you for a moment, of course. I doubted myself and I'm sure he did too. Not yet been we have no time to lose. Yeah, I'm glad we've not been I slain. The traitor wow. unmasked. We must waste no time in warning the Margrave of Kelthazard's treachery. His reckless toying with the forbidden powers could bring ruin to the house and beyond. Let us put an end to this. Quest objective, confront Kelthazard in the Hall of Sorcery. We'll get the chest piece for the Covenant set and an emblem of renown. He just always assumes that we're going to die and mess everything up. Yeah, he was the one that actually got us caught. I foresee quite a lot of fighting in our immediate future. You can do it. Take down the bad guys. Yay. Right, so we need to get out of here. We're going to have to fight a lot of guys here because we are escaping jail. Unfortunately. Oh, actually helping us. That's the first time he's got his hands dirty, isn't it? Just in stone spikes. Okay. And loot. And keep going. Uh, wait, is this this is not the right way to go, is it? No, that's further in instead of out. We want to go out. We don't want to go further in. So I think we now know which way we need to go. We need to go up this staircase to get out of this place where we were locked up. And then we can figure out where we need to go. So we're looking for the Margrave to expose Kelthazard. Signs of battle leading to the Margrave's hall. Oh, there's been a fight already. Oh, right, oh, hang on. We may be too late. I was expecting it to be in that floating fortress. It's not, is it? There's a floating fortress, no. Ah, right, okay, they're not where I expected them to be, they're right outside this town. Right, so where should I be? I think I should be on the path over what here, shouldn't I? What is this treachery? Yeah. Do you truly believe you can match the power of a Margrave? See, we don't need to tell the Margrave, she already oh, knows. No. Minotaur, how dare you! Your weakness is unbecoming of the House of Rituals, Sindane. It is time we anointed a new Margrave. Ooh. You will pay for this deceit. Perhaps, but such is always the price for power. Don't know the dominating magic to this Margrave. That's bad so news. They were prepared. You managed to escape. Have you come to celebrate my victory? Uh, no, no, we came to try and stop what you. A pity. Nevertheless, allow me to leave you with a parting gift. Ooh, we're not allowed to get in there and help out. Oh, another dragon. Oh, Saffron. Oh, hello. You're back again, are you, sweetie? Sorry, but it looks like I might have to kill you again. Right, minions, let's go. We've done this before. We can do it again. 
Go, go, go! Unfortunately, we don't get to face Kelthazad today. But that makes me sad. I was hoping we could stop him taking uh, the Margrave and taking over the place. I guess maybe we've stopped him taking over the house, but we've uh, not saved the Margrave, which is kind of sad. So all of that work didn't really help us out at all, did it? And the dragon is just here to slow us down so they get away. But then there was a barrier so we weren't supposed to, be able to get through it though because we could fly. We could have actually landed inside the barrier which uh, wasn't the intent of the story design but the barrier is to keep us out and then the dragon keeps us busy so we can't attempt to make any following move. Kelthus had a loss for later, of course. The two of us have no chance against him now. No, because he's gone. The traitor and mask. choice but to return to your allies and regroup. I didn't think we would make it out of that encounter intact. You are truly a skilled warlock, Chantico. The better part of valour. We now have no choice but to make a strategic retreat. Kelthazard is far too fortified within the necropolis. And if Ninadar is his ally, then the House of Rituals is firmly in his grasp. It will take nothing short of an army to save the Margrave now. So we're going to have to come back with an army. OK. Return to the seat of the Primus. So we've just spent all this time trying to save the Margrave and we didn't manage to. And now we still need to get ourselves an army to come back with. OK, so I guess that's going to be um, Chapter 9 then, coming back with an army. Or at least I hope it is. I hope it's not to be put off for later. Right, so we need to go back, and luckily he gave us a shortcut portal back, so that saves us a lot of time. So let us report to Draka. Well, Barma does a very um, know it all, looks down on everybody kind of guy, but he does actually do what he says he's going to do. So it's a very strange. Um, I like to have, but he is on our side at the moment because he really wants to save his Margrave. Always ready for battle. The better part of valor. The Margrave has been captured, so Kelthazard has seized control of the house. This changes things. Well, not a lot. We still need to get him out, don't we? Strength comes from the heart. Mobilise Maldraxxus. It will be difficult to reach Kelthazard while he is in his necropolis. Go now. It will take time for us to muster an army that can pierce his defences. Best objective, increase your renown, which of course we've already done. For Our forces stand ready. Let us end this. And so that will lead us into Chapter 9, I'm assuming. Strength comes from the heart. So we will come back in the next episode for Chapter 9, which should see the end of the Maldraxxi Covenant campaign or Sanctum campaign. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!